Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day's going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm back again to share a couple of projects with you. We're using a few items from the Spellbinders Gnome Drive collection. Um, I love little gnomes and I love them on cards, <laughs> not in the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this collection is super cute. I have a few items. Um, we're going to make two cards today, but I also made a third one. And I'll show you that at the end of the video. But this here is the Gnome Drive Holiday. This is has a Christmas tree and a present. And it has the gnome. This is the base die. And then all the other sets will coordinate with it. There's a Halloween set out there also. Um, so we'll be using this. And I'm going to create a birthday card with this one. Instead of creating a Christmas card. I thought a birthday card would be fun. Um, I'm also going to be creating a card with the, the Gnome Drive Hearts for You. Um, I thought this was super cute. Great for Valentine's Day for next February. So, But it's also great for, for just sh giving some love to somebody. We'll be using this on our card today. The third card that I made was using this one schools this says no this is gnome drive graduation but it's great for teachers also i love the little apple that has the glasses there's a pencil a diploma and then the the graduation cap super cute but i think it's great for teachers and that's i created a teacher card with mine to go with all of these um we have the gnome drive sentiments that's the stamp set here there's lots of sentiments that are meant to go with gnomes, but also great on their own. Um, and for lots and lots of different holidays. You can see what the die sets look like here. So we're gonna jump in and create our gnome. I'm gonna cr create a car. For my car, we're gonna create a silver fox card. All the cardstock that I'm using today is Spellbinders Color Essential cardstock. And I'm gonna make two of these cards with the same card and the same gnome. Okay, just to make things a little bit easier. Um, we have the base of the card here, Silver Fox cardstock. And I thought since we're making a birthday card, we'd bring in some bright colors for presents. And this will cut out the top of the present, the present base, and a star. I'm gonna die cut this out three times with these three colors of cardstock. This is Waterfall, this is Persimmon, and this is Peridot. Okay, we have some black cardstock. I'm gonna be die cutting out some wheels and we'll die cut that out with our black cardstock. We're gonna use that same silver fox and die cut out the, no the body of our gnome and the hat of our gnome. Now on the body, this piece here is the gnome nose. I'm gonna bring in some white cardstock. I'll line it up just at the edge and then I'll create a white nose. Okay, so we'll die cut it out with this and then also some white for that gnome nose. And then I will also take the, the arms and feet of the gnome and it will cut that out with white cardstock as well, along with the beard. If I have room, I might need to be, bring in a bigger piece of cardstock. Let's see. Oh, I think we got this. And then of course, again, the gnome nose will be here, okay? There's more elements to the car. We have the headlights. I'm gonna die cut out the headlights with silver mirror and also with my fog cardstock. Fog's a little bit lighter and a little bit cooler than the silver fox on the gray side. We'll die cut that out. And then for my presents, I have some silver glitter foam. We'll die cut that out. I'm also going to take some lunar gray cardstock. We're going to die cut out the grill. Um, the grill has an insert piece. The grill and, and the steering wheel is this piece here. Um, you can inlay this right here on the inside of this. Um, and I'm going to do that, but I'll do that on silver cardstock. So I'll die cut this out once with our lunar gray cardstock and then also with the silver fox. That way I can layer them together. And I think that's it. Um, I may take this because the bumper on here, I don't want a black bumper. I'm going to die cut that out over here with my fog cardstock also. So I have a couple repeating um, 
die cutting to do. When I'm all done, we're gonna create a car with a cute little gnome and some presents. Every, well, I think I have everything. Everything is die cut out. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna bring in my glue and we are gonna do a little bit of ink blending on our gnome. We'll create our gnome first. I'm gonna ink blend with my black ink and I can add a little ink here and then just go from the bottom. For the most part, this is going to be covered because he's going to be in the car, but I do want just a little bit of shading here. I want to do the same thing with his hat. Kind of fade up. To create the gnome very easy, we have our gnome beard. This is our gnome nose, which I'm going to bring in a Copic marker and do a little bit of coloring with. So I colored in my nose with E13 and E11. Um, so we have a little bit of color on his nose. Now I'm going to take a foam square. And we're going to add it to the very top of our gnome, like so. We're going to take our gnome beard and we will tack our gnome beer down for a little dimension. You could add more than one um, foam square if you wanted. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take my glue. We're gonna add a little bit of glue to the very top. Then we can add our hat. Yeah. And then I'm gonna add a little glue at the very top of the hat. And we're gonna add our gnome nose. You could pop his nose up if you wanted to. And then I'm gonna add some glue to his hands. And we are gonna add our hands. And I'm not gonna add the feet because they're gonna be hidden. He's gonna be inside the car. So the feet are more if you're gonna put the gnome on the outside of the car. We're gonna add the pom-pom with our glue also. So our gnome's done. It did take no time at all. There is. Now we're gonna do our car. For our car, we have our, we have our bumpers, and I die cut it out three times. Okay, I die cut it out with the black, with the graphite, and then with the fog, the fog being the lightest. I put glue on the mirrors of my car, and we're gonna add graphite to each of the mirrors. It's the medium gray just so they stand out. Let me show you. So you can see they stand out. And then we're gonna add some glue where our tires are. And we'll add our black tires. It's nice that the tires are one piece, perfectly evenly spaced. Now this is where our bumpers come in. Since we have three of each color, I'm gonna layer all three of these together. This is gonna give me a little bit of dimension. And we won't waste it. Now for our grill, I'm gonna layer both of these together. I'll just flip around my silver mirror. And then we'll stack these two together. And then I'll add some more glue. And then we'll place this right in the front. It's so cute. And then lastly, we're gonna take our steering wheel and I'm gonna add two dots of glue to the left and right. And then we're gonna add our steering wheel And that is our cute little jitney, <laughs> as I like to call. My auntie used to call her cars jitneys. We're gonna go for a ride in the jitney. So when I, when I say that to my kids, they're like, mom, please don't. <laughs> but that's my little jitney. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, you can do the jitneys in any color. <laughs>
and it's scaled the size to where your gnome will fit cute in there. Okay, oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to add our headlights. Headlights were with silver mirror card stock and, um, and fog. So bottom piece, so our rim of our lights will be silver mirror. We'll add both of those. We're gonna add a little bit more glue. And then we'll place our fog right over the top. And those are our headlights. And then we have, you could do the opposite with your leftovers. And silver mirror cardstock takes a little bit of time to dry. It likes to shift on me. So that's our Jitney. And that is our little gnome. Super fun. Now we're going to create some presents. We have our bows. And then I also have my... We have our stars and our bows. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the present top. Instead of doing the same color, we're going to do a little mix and mashing. I'm going to add green. We'll add peridot to our waterfall. We'll add waterfall to our persimmon. We'll add persimmon to our peridot. Great. I'm going to go ahead and add a thin bead of glue. And then we can layer this. I'm not sure which I want, which color I want at the very top. I think I might want the blue at the very top. And the very top bow is where we're going to just add a layer. So we'll layer these together. Okay, we'll save this and we'll keep these. Now for my background, I'm going to bring in an embossing folder. I'm using the Puff Dotty embossing folder and I'm going to bring in the Puff Dotty stencil. For my background, I embossed a panel. This measures three and a quarter inches wide by three and three quarter inches tall. And I used the Spellbinders Puff Dotty embossing folder. And the nice thing about the Puff Dotty embossing folder is there is a stencil that um, works really well with it. I'm going to add a little bit of shading. I'm going to line up those dots. They line up so nicely. <laughs> and then I'm going to bring in some gray ink. I'm using my London Fog. And I'm just going to lightly go over, just lightly. I just want just a little bit of color over these dots. You really probably don't even need a stencil for this. but it's nice to have. <laughs> so we have some dots in the background that stand out. For my background, I also have a piece of that same cardstock. This is Silver Fox, the same one that we used for our car. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that to the front of my card base. These two strips, I created two strips using the same colors that we used for our presents. Except for the green, of course. I have uh, persimmon and then I have waterfall. What I did was I used my winter borders die set. This is such a versatile die set. Okay. Um, and I used the small scalloped edge here. But the nice thing is there's some, some detail dies. Well, not really dies. I guess these are detail pieces that will create uh, crisscross lines or stitched lines. And that's what I did. I used the double stitch line on this one. So we have a little extra detail. I'm going to layer both of these together. I'm going to use my corner rounder and I'm going to round the corners on the top. I love this type of panel on cards. I don't know what it is. I guess it just looks kind of dainty. And then I'm going to bring in some of my my Spellbinders black hemp cord and I'm going to wrap it around the seam and I'm going to tie a bow off to the left here. And then I'll pop this up with bone tape and then I'm going to place it in the center of my card here. Kind of looks, <laughs> how, I mean, how cute is that? I love, this would make a cute ornament for Christmas. Oh my goodness. 
Well, could you just picture that on a Christmas tree? I just think that's so cute. Okay, we're gonna we add our gnome. Okay, I am gonna put some foam tape behind here. So we put foam tape. I kind of left this section open here because we're gonna do some tucking with our presents. And We'll add our gnome. You can see I stamped my sentiment. I stamped the happy birthday and motoring by to say. I thought that was super cute. I just stamped it with my black ink. Now we're going to add our presents. I'm going to use my tape runner. And I kind of want to stack them, placing them a little bit wonky, trailing up here. And I did end up removing that bow that we added on one of the presents. I'm not going to use it because stacking two of those foam pieces together um, created too much bulk. So I'm going to remove that. But the bows that were on there looked good. I think if you were to use cardstock, it would be cute. But um, we're going to not use that extra piece. I'm going to remove the release paper. I did put foam tape behind my sentiment. Motoring by, we're going to add this, and then we will add happy birthday. And then we have our stars. Let's figure out where we're going to put these. I think that's a good spot. Let's go ahead and add our stars. I finish this card with some glazing glue over our gnome's nose over our stars here. And that is my first card. Now for my next card, I did the gnome and the car the same way. Um, the gnome, instead of the white hands I use the glitter just to spark it up, sparkle it up a little bit I also use the same colors this is my gra um, my lunar gray cardstock I I cut out this piece with that and then I have my three different colors of hearts using the same colors you could actually put a happy face in the heart I decided not to do that and then you can also put some small small hearts on the hat but we're not going to do that for the arrow you can see how long it is and then you, this is a separate piece on the very end. What I had did is I trimmed it with my scissors to make some smaller arrows. And the same thing that we did with the presents, I put the reverse, or I put different colors on the end, just for a little extra playfulness. I'm gonna use my glue and we're gonna add our balloons to our balloon string. I'm just making sure that the point of the balloon is at the very end of the string. And you know what I love is I love those little circles that are there so we can attach. I just love that. So that's, those are our balloons. I mean, how cute are those? I love them. And there's a bow in here that you can add, but I just may use the bow that we had left over from our first card from our main kit. We'll see. Now we're going to put these off to the side. I am going to stamp my sentiment. I have a one and a quarter inch strip of white cardstock and I used those same winter borders, um, the stitch detail on the top and the bottom. I'm going to show it to you real quickly. So we have that same stitch detail. And then we are going to stamp our sentiment a little bit off to the left. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment with my black ink. And this one says there's gnome one like you. We'll stamp that on our... Okay, I'm using the Spellbinders. Let's put this aside. I'm using the Spellbinders Essential Modern Ovals die set. If you have an arch die set, you could use that also. But I'm taking the largest one. I'm going to take an A2 panel and I'm going to cut out an arch or an elongated oval. 
after I ran it through my die cut machine. I'm ink blending just a little bit of my black ink. You could use your gray ink if you wanted, but I'm just going around the edges. And just so it's not white. And then on my card base, I went ahead and adhered an A2 panel created with the Spellbinders um, embossing folder of the month. But really for this card, any kind of embossing folder you have would work because since we're just embossing white card stock, you could use any embossing folder. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I'm gonna line it up where I want it to go on my card. And I'll take my sentiment. This is why it's a little bit longer. I'm going to it. I think that's a good spot. So I'll tack this down. And then I'm while it's on my card base, I'm gonna use my scissors and I'll trim away the excess. And I will pop this up with some foam tape. We'll tack this in the middle. I will pop up my car. Uh, well, let's flip over my car. I'm going to add some adhesive behind here. And then we can tack down our gnome. In the car. And I am going to double up that green one. Go ahead and double that up. Now we have our arrows. I am going to add some just little dots of glue behind here. And then we're going to layer these. I'm going to go three in a row here because there's no one like you, which is really hard to say, but it's really cute. Okay, we're going to add our glazing glue to the nose of our gnome. And then for our, um, our balloons, I am going to bring my white gel pen in and we are just going to add a little bit. Well, you know what? Let's add a couple... Let's add some highlights to our balloon. I just like to add a reverse C shape, maybe a couple dots too. Okay, and then I, I'm going to also bring in my, bring back my glaze and glue and go over those headlights. We'll add a little shine to those too. And now we'll finish off my second card. So our first card we created with the Gnome Drive Holiday, but we didn't make a holiday card. <laughs> and then my second card, we used the Gnome Drive um, Hearts for You. Super cute. Not a Valentine's card, but you could use it as a Valentine's Day card. And then my third card, I promised you I'd show you, I'd show you after the video. This is the card I made. This is the Gnome card um, Gnome Drive Graduation. Back to school is here and I thought this is so fun for a teacher. Kind of a different color. I'll have still shots over my blog if you guys want to check out this. Um, but that was a fun card to create. So that's my project for today. Thanks for joining me. Have a fabulous rest of your week. We will see you soon. Bye-bye.